this is Mike Haber. Thanks for asking me, when can I be denied bail or bond in Florida? Pursuant to both Article 1, Section 14 of the Florida Constitution and Florida Rule of Criminal Procedure 3.131a, there's a presumption that anyone who's booked into a Florida jail for an offense which is not punishable by either death or life in prison is entitled to some form of pretrial release on reasonable conditions. But there's also exceptions, and let's start with the obvious. If you're booked into jail for a capital or a life felony, then you are not entitled to bond. Still, and while you'll be denied bond at your initial appearance, in these situations, you can subsequently apply to your trial judge for an Arthur hearing. This is a special bond hearing which applies only to capital and life felonies. There are some offenses which are bondable, but which require a period of time to pass before bond can be posted. For instance, there's a mandatory cooling off period of 24 hours in any domestic violence arrest. Further, stay away orders are non waivable conditions of any domestic violence bond. And as a judge must inform the accused of the existence of the stay away order, in domestic violence cases, bond cannot be posted until after the initial appearance has occurred, bond has been set, conditions have been established, read to the defendant and the requisite cooling off period is passed. Also, if you have some other hold, be it a bench warrant or a fugitive warrant or a child support warrant, could be an ice hold or any of a number of other possible detainers, or if you happen to have been out on probation, parole, or pretrial release in another case at the time of your most recent and other booking, then while you may get a bond on your new substantive charge, you probably won't be released until the underlying issue has been resolved by the presiding judge. That said, I thank you very much for your question. I appreciate your having asked it, and I invite you to ask me more. Please remember that at Haber PA, it's all about reasonable doubt. And if you like this video, then please subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll be putting out more soon.